Hi, welcome to Yang's Kitchen. Thank you for watching. 안녕하세요. Today I'm going to share brand new recipe that law inspired me. Praise the law and call the banana coconut breakfast bars. Let's go and start. First, you will need three ripe bananas. I've been waiting for this banana to ripe so I can take the cooking chip for you. And then you will need a food processor or you can use a uh, blender maybe. It has to be nice and creamy. It's a kind of mess, so I'm going to put my sanitation there. Take the skin off. Wow, this is going to be really sweet. So I'm going to put it all in here. Banana is very high in fiber and the potassium also B vitamins and uh, it's good for you good for your heart especially and it helps you lower your uh, blood pressure also very high antioxidants which is to build up immunity in your body so you will fight for cancers any diseases and I'm gonna go and press this until nice and creamy. Okay, looks good. Let's just set it aside. Okay, you will need one cup whole wheat flour, one cup unbleached white flour, and a one fourth cup ground flax seed. Flax seed is very high in omega 3 fatty acid, which is wonderful for your brain function. So please add some uh, flax seed in your diet daily. Next, you need a half cup coconut flakes. And the coconut is very high in fiber, also protein and some fat and a lot of vitamin B6 uh, in there. So it's such a good for your... It's another way I read, I read that it's really good for your preventing Alzheimer's disease when you eat like a coconut flakes or coconut milk, coconut oil, yeah. <laughs> uh, half teaspoon salt, one tablespoon aluminum free baking powder, one teaspoon coriander, and uh, one fourth cup tabinara sugar. This is a raw sugar. So it's a healthy sugar. Then you will need a one teaspoon stevia, which is a zero calorie, but also uh, give you a lot of sweetener. But if you don't want to use uh, stevia, then you can just add a one fourth cup tabinara, extra tabinara sugar. Then I'm going to mix it thoroughly. Turn your oven at 350 degrees. From here, I will need a spoon. Two cups soy milk or you can use any non-dairy milk. This is another dumping recipe. And the one teaspoon vanilla. Then we're gonna use banana puree. it all out. You need every trap. This is really, really delicious and 
very healthy for you. And you just make it, and uh, if you have a leftover, you can freeze them, and it will make a wonderful breakfast bar. Go ahead and mix it thoroughly. And the mixing is so important. So take your time and mix it. Then we are using some whole wheat flour. So you will their energy food. A breakfast is a very important food for the day. So we supposed to be eat breakfast like a king. <laughs> all right, it's all done. Then you will need a nine by thirteen baked dish. Then make sure they spray oil. It's so already done there. Then we're gonna go ahead and transfer this mixture into a big dish. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really good. I love the texture. Uh, the flexi we create in here is make such a wonderful texture in this Get it all up. We shouldn't waste anything. Then even now, then we got one more step. And you need 24 walnut hips. So, okay, I will show you. From the, this called the, what do you call it, wheat? <laughs> Nine, this is nine by 13, so you're gonna put four on the nine inches. Four here. Then you can, you need to put six, the 13 inches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're gonna continue, add it on here before you bake it. And the wine nice is this another one is very high in protein, fiber, or it's a very high in omega-3. And uh, which is such a good for your brain and uh, help you to remember better. So this will go to oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And I know your kitchen smell will be really, really good. Okay. Now when it comes out from oven, you need to wait until completely cool down. It's easier to cut. You can make 24 pieces. So I will be back. I'm going to put this in the oven. Then I will come back with the finished product. So don't go away. Welcome back. Here is finished product for you and in our kitchen smells so good. And if you like to have written recipe, it's in the description. A lot of people don't know what's the description. Below the video, you will see more M-O-R-E. Click that one and you will have an entire written recipe for you. But thank you for watching. See you until next program. May God richly bless you.